Jack Nicholson, Hollywood's godfather, has lived celebrity life to the hilt. But now a dead ringer has Hollywood in an uproar. And as Roger Lodge reports, you'll be amazed at what this joker's been pulling off. Jack Nicholson, one of the great characters of Hollywood on and off screen. A one of a kind, right? There's nobody like him in the world. I don't think there ever was. Hold on, Ellen. Apparently you haven't seen Joe Ritchie. Johnny. Here's Jackie. <laughs> He's just a kid from Brooklyn with an uncanny resemblance to another kid from New Jersey. Hey, uh, got another table for me? Yeah, there are plenty of lookalikes in L.A., but none have gone where this Jack Nickel clone has gone before. By day, he's a groundskeeper at a VA hospital, but by night, he's every hoity-toity celebrity event organizer's nightmare, fooling scads of security guards at star-studded functions. Just listen to the reception Joe the Joker got at this Beverly Hills fashion show. Jack, how are you doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? You don't have to check. Okay. Can we get a How's it going? Can we get this quick soundbite on James Bond for me? Oh, please. <laughs> Once I get the people to believe me, keeping the belief alive isn't as necessary. I did my thing, fine. On the way out, if they know, hey, you're not Jack, but you know what? You made my night, man. You made me feel good. Let's get everybody in the damn picture here. Never imagined to see something like this. <laughs> Who is it? Jack, Jack Nicholson. Nicholson. <laughs> I got high off of that. It's better than any Maui Wowie. He really gets into his role, but not too much. He says he never ever signs autographs Jack Nicholson and says he's very careful to do the right thing. It's a gift. It doesn't, it, it loses its validity if you hurt somebody. You know what I'm saying? Now get this, Joe put his familiar kisser to the ultimate test as he successfully crashed one of the most highly protected and secure events in the country, the 1995 Emmy Awards. But Joe, as you can see here, just sashayed right in and stayed not only for just an award or two, but the entire event. He then crashed the governor's ball later on that night. I mean, after all, the guy at the door, what's he gonna do, tell me no? Joe has something in common with the real Jack and that helps him scam his way from function to function. You can't fake digging ladies, man. You know what I'm saying? We look good, man. You know, we go into a place, we bring class. And that's what it's all about, right? It was really much better to sitting there with him than with Rhea Jack Nicholson. It was amazing. Well, Joe thought it was time to top himself. His mission? To crash The Tonight Show and meet Jay Leno as, well, you know who. <laughs> Well, just listen to what happened next. We got a friend back here of Jay's who wants to say hi to Jay. Oh, okay. Jack. Yeah, take a look. <laughs> okay. All right. Go all the way inside. Make a right. Amazingly, he made it through the gate and headed to the backstage area of The Tonight Show. Oh, Dad. We're in, Dad. Close, but no cigar yet. Well, about 10 minutes later, foiled. Some idiot asked me for an ID. Some little squirrel came out named Todd, you squirrel, <laughs> and uh, he uh, flipped out. And uh, but they were very, very nice to us. And yeah. it was very nice, a good experience. And I'm sorry I didn't get home. So it's on to crash the next celebrity function for Joe. And what about the real Jack? Well, Joe says he hopes he'll take it all in fun. But look out, Hollywood! Don't take any wooden Nicholsons, okay? <laughs> Not even close. Joe says the reason he's pulling these crazy capers is to research an upcoming project with documentary filmmaker Stanley Ershon, which is entitled The Royal Scam, and we anxiously await it.